Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Second one, we want to prove that uh, for second one, we may assume V is non-zero because V is zero, then by we have made the convention so that they are equal, both are minus one. And let us put S equal to S of M. See what we want to prove, second inequality is, we want to prove that D of V is smaller equal to s of v. This is what we want to prove. To prove this, we assume v is non-zero because if v is zero, both are minus one. So now, uh, uh, if you call s to be s of s of v, that means I have s elements a1 to as in the maximal ideal of a such that length of v by a1 to as times v this length is finite that is the definition of s of v. Therefore, because the length is finite, the support of V by A1 to AS, V, this consists of only singleton M. Because it, if you modulate is finite length, then the support consists of the maximal ideal. And let us put now, let us put this ideal to be Q. ideal generated by a1 to s and this actually let us put q equal to this ideal plus annihilator of m annihilator of v this is contained in m and now uh, we claim that this q is primary Q is M primary. Okay, for that it is enough to prove that if, if, so enough to prove that if Q is contained in some primordial P. then this p must be maximum that will prove it is m primary. So, suppose on the contrary that we have we are in such a situation q is contained in p and p is not the maximum ideal. Suppose On the contrary, that uh, Q is contained in P and contained in uh, properly contained in M, then P is not in the support of V by A1 to ASV. That is uh, at localization this module is 0. So, that is Vp is same as 
ideal generated by a1 to as vp and again by nakama lemma vp is zero that means p is not in the support that means p is not in the support of v but support of v is v of the annihilator p is not there means p doesn't contain annihilator annihilator of v is not contained in p but this is a contradiction a contradiction because we have assumed that q is generated by the annihilator of v and along with a1 to as okay so uh, we have proved q is primary and uh, dm therefore is dv therefore is degree of hilbert samuel polynomial i can use now this q primary this now if you put if you put um a prime to be the residue class ring of a by the annihilator of v and m prime to be the ideal the image of the ideal the maximal ideal m in a prime and q prime to be the image of q in a prime then the hilbert polynomials pq pq prime v and pq v they will not change because we have gone modulo the annihilators so the annihilator kills the module m therefore the p will not change and degree of so d of v which is by definition degree of pqm pqv which is degree because of this equality degree of pq prime v which is less equal to mu of q prime which is now q prime q was generated by a1 to as along with an elector of m but we have gone modern elector so that disappears and this mu of q prime is less equal to s which is s of v so we have put the second inequality so a second inequality was d of v is smaller or equal to s of v the third and last inequality now we want to prove is um, that s of v is smaller or equal to dimension of v this is to prove so first of all note that the dimension dimension of v is finite because we have proved in inequality 1 that dimension of v is smaller equal to the degree of the hilbert samuel polynomial and the degree is uh, integer so therefore dimension is finite and uh, to prove this again we may assume v is non zero um so suppose if the dimension is zero then if the dimension is zero that means the the chain has only one element in a support 
because uh, the supremum is zero so there is only one element in any chain in the support so that will mean that support of m support of v can only be the maximal ideal because if it is not maximal ideal you, are, you will have at least two elements in the chain in the support so dimension will be non zero in that case so if dimension is zero support of v will be exactly one max exactly one element namely the maximal ideal and uh, therefore the length of the module v is finite then because support of v consists only the maximal ideal the length is finite so that will mean that so that is that is s is zero then because i can simply take empty set uh, empty sequence a1 to s and then mod that v mod that is v and the length is finite so by definition of the chevalier dimension i can take s to be zero so in this case so we proved if dimension is zero then this is also zero and then it proves uh, uh, this inequality for a dimension v equal to zero now assume the dimension is positive assume that dimension of v is positive uh, and choose and let p1 to pr b elements in the support such that dimension v is dimension of a by pi or i equal to 1 to r so what i am saying is we know that the dimension is finite so that means all chains of prime ideals in the support of v they will have finite lengths and in any um, uh, maximal chain which gives the dimension in that i choose the left end point and that is called p1 for another chain there may be another one so p2 and so on so i call p1 to pr all all those prime ideals for which the dimension v is precisely the dimension of a by pi ah huh? these are in the support of v and they will they will be by uh, automatically they will be the minimal primes in the associated primes of v and therefore they are finitely many okay no i just call that r r is some number right see there are finitely many of them so i call that number to be r okay so because now we are assuming dimension is positive none of these pi's will be m so pi is not m for all i equal to 1 to r since dimension v we are assuming is positive and now uh, look at their union p1 to pr and m this m cannot be contained here in the union because if m is contained in the union then it will be contained in one of them and then therefore because m is maximal it will be one of the pi but that is not the case so m is properly contained in p1 to pr this is also called prime avoidance lemma so so that means i can choose an element in the union which is not in m so choose so there exist a in m which is in none of the primes uh, p1 to p1 union 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 pr and take uh, v prime equal to v by av ideal generated by av and now note that the support of v prime will be contained in support of 
V and none of the P1 to PR are in the support of V prime. Because when I localize V prime at any one of them, this A is not in PI, therefore this will become 0. With this A will become a unit and therefore this model will become 0. So, uh, that implies this. Therefore, if when I want to compute a dimension of V prime, we have to take the chains of the prime ideals in in the support of V prime, but none of these guys are there. So, any chain will not contain this. So, therefore, this this will be at most dimension V minus 1. And now, by induction, dimension S of V prime is smaller equal to dimension of V prime and obviously uh, S of V is smaller equal to S of V prime plus 1 because at most one element I will add to that then you will get the the, uh, L, uh, the the number of generators for the Chevalier dimension of V will be at most one more than the Chevalier dimension of V prime and this is less equal to dimension of V prime plus 1, but this is dimension of this is less equal to dimension of V shifting the earlier inequality to minus 1 to the other side. So, that proves the third inequality and with that therefore, it proves the theorem. So, now I will deduce few consequences. So, corollary 1 dimension of the module is finite. Remember our assumption V is a finitely generated module over an Ethereum local ring and we have proved that this dimension is same as the degree of the Hilbert Samuel polynomials and degree is always finite. So, therefore, this is finite in particular dimension of a local ring is finite. Dimension of a local ring is finite. Corollary 2. Um, if Q is M primary, then the dimension of V is bounded by mu of v, mu of Q. Mu is the minimal number of generators for Q, which is by Nakama lemma. This is the dimension of the a by m vector space q modulo m times q. In particular, dimension of the ring, local ring is less equal to mu of m because m is the q prime, m is the m primary ideal and a, mu of m is by definition or by Nakama lemma, it is dimension of the uh, a by m vector space m by m square. And this number is also called embedding dimension of a m dim a. That is the definition of embedding dimension of a. I will write it on the next page. Embedding dimension. Dimension of the local ring. is by definition mu of m which is equal to by Nakama lemma dimension of the k vector space m by m square. So, 
so dimension is bounded by the embedding dimension if m is non zero uh, v is non zero and if the dimension of v is let's call it d this is bigger equal to zero because v is non zero this means there exist now i use the definition uh, chevalier dimension there exist d elements a1 to ad in the maximal ideal m uh, such that if i go modulo these d elements length of v by a1 to ad times v this is finite so such a system of elements a1 to ad such a system a1 to ad is called a system of parameters for the model v so number of elements in a system of parameters for a module degree of the hilbert semul polynomial and uh, uh, supremums of the chains of the prime ideals in the support v they are all same numbers that is what the content of the dimension theorem is okay the next this d is the dimension of d right okay corollary 3 this is very very important theorem in local algebra okay if i have r elements in the maximal ideals a1 to ar then and if i go modulo this a1 to ar in any module that means if i consider a module v and consider a residue class module v by v by a1 to ar this module then the dimension of this can is bigger equal to dimension of v minus this number r so proof so dimension can drop at most by r elements okay moreover equality equality holds if and only if so equality here holds if and only if these elements a1 to ar this system a1 to ar can be extended to a system of parameters for for v then only the equality will hold okay so proof proof so let us put v prime equal to this quotient model or this residue class model and d equal to dimension of v prime we want to prove that dimension of v prime is dimension v minus r okay if this d is dimension of v prime that means by definition of equality chevalier dimension of v prime will be d that means there will be d elements in the maximal ideal so that if i go modulo v prime those d element the length will be finite so th this means there exist elements b1 to bd in maximal ideal m such that length of v prime 
modulo ideal generated by b1 to bd times v prime this length is finite but look this module this factor module quotient module b1 to bd v prime this is same as v modulo because v prime is v modulo a1 to ar and along with this so this is v modulo a1 to ar along with b1 to bd this length is finite but then by definition of chevalet chevalet dimension that the dimension of this chevalet dimension of this will be less equal to r plus d so that implies dimension of v which is s of v which is less equal to r plus d but this is equal to r plus dimension of v prime so that proves this inequality so that proves dimension of v prime is bigger equal to shift this r to the other side dimension r minus r now the moreover part so moreover part suppose the equality holds if the equality holds the equality means dimension of v equal to r plus d where r and d as above then this will mean that a1 to ar along with b1 to bd this is a system of parameters for v because dimension is r and this uh, number of elements are also correct and mod those number of elements dimension uh, the length is finite therefore by definition of system of parameters a1 to r comma b1 to bd is a system of parameters so if equality holds then this a1 to r we have completed to a system of parameters so that proves the one implication conversely if a1 to ar can be completed or can be extended to a system of parameters Uh, let's call it a1 to ar comma c1 to cs in m as the system of parameters for v then the length of v prime modulo c1 to c s v prime this is finite where v prime is v modulo a1 to ar but this residue class module is same as this is same as length of the inside the residue class module is v by a1 to ar c1 to cs v this length is finite therefore by definition of chevalier uh, uh, chevalier definition this this proves that this s is at least d because d was d was the dimension of v prime this is the dimension of v prime but then 
dimension of V will be bigger equal to uh, R plus S which is bigger equal to R plus D which is bigger equal to dimension of V. So, all equalities, all inequalities are equalities. In particular, we get dimension of dimension of V equal to R plus D which is R plus dimension of V prime. So, that proves the equality. So, uh, there are some more corollaries, but I will uh, do that in the next time.